Hey, you guys, it's Anne Marie. Happy Look Around and Find Out Friday. Bye, 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 bye. It's cute. I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm having a great day. It's my birthday weekend. Yay! So, I mean, I need to be going to the thrift store and looking for an outfit for the weekend, but um, the sun's out. I got my nails done. Look at that. They're mood changing as always. You can't really see how cool they are, but they're absolutely amazing. Um, <laughs> see, I don't do but, you know, I'm just so happy to have my nails back. <laughs> anyway, I thought we'd pull some cards and get some messages of clarity. For those of you who like it, we're here with some of my ancestors. And I've been getting crazy downloads. This is exactly what I needed. It's um, I kind of go in hermit mode a couple days before Halloween throughout my birthday because I'm always... I'm not projecting this, but this is what's always happened in the last couple of years, especially. Um, I... I'm under heavy spiritual attacks, um, always around this time because it's my season. And so, um, I'm doing something different. <laughs> and I just wanted to add real quick to those of you who have showed up in my dream space, I can always tell my dreams if it's my spiritual team fighting with me and protecting me and we're going to battle and stuff in the astral realm. And I can always tell when it's how can I say this? Energies on the 3D that also come into my dreams and are got my back as well. So um, whether you know it or not, we're fighting together in the spiritual realm, in the dream space. And thank you. You guys are some savage motherfuckers. <laughs> you guys are savage. Thank you. Thank you for your protection and stability and compassion. Let's just say that. What's the earthen bone of it? Or do we want to do, trust me, I'm psychic. Those messages have been deep. Let's do the earthen bone and then we'll do that one. Okay. We'll just see. What's the earthen bone of the situation, spirit? Thank you to my high vibrating ancestors, spirit guides, divines and beings, a source of light energy. I'm so grateful. Thank you to the west, the north, the east, the south, fire, air, water, earth, spirit. Can we please get some messages of clarity for those who would like it, please? Oh, Jesus, a lot. Oh, my gosh. We got four. Number 33, beast, conflict, competition, oppressors. <laughs> I see where we're going. Number eight, wow. We're in the year of the eight. Uh, blood moon, illusion, uncertainty, narcissism. Can't make this shit up. And then we have number 15, which is six. Wow. So the 33 breaks down to six, two. So six, six, eight, ten. One. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, migration. Initiation. Adventure. Freedom. And then 28. Flight. Opportunity. Prosperity. New venture. It's interesting how I laid these cards out. So, underneath the beast, for some reason, um, I put the migration card. So, the conflict and competition, the people or energies that have been trying to oppress you. Or this could be self-imposed oppression as well. So if we want to go there, we can dig deep into that if you want. <laughs> um, but what Spirit has shown me is that you're getting ready to come out or you've been coming out of this conflict. But this new moon, there's a, I mean, as with every type of moon cycle, there's things to release. And um, the veil is super, super thin right now. And so what Spirit is saying is that you're going to be free from this oppression, this conflict, and this competition that's been going on. There's been a lot of illusions and uncertainty in your life you may have throughout your life or you're just coming out or recognizing that you've been around a lot of narcissists or people it's that word is used so loosely but people who have narcissistic type of behaviors and actions or whatever so you may have been being released and this illusion is uh, the veil is completely thin now <laughs> that's a weird way to say it but the veil is really thin and so the illusions are being released and it's like all these there's four white wolves that are howling at this moon and underneath that is opportunity, prosperity, and new venture. So, and we have the vulture there. Did I show that quick enough? So, and the vultures don't kill the stuff. The vultures, when stuff is already dead, they come and kind of eat it up. You know what I'm saying? So the vultures aren't the, the killers. They're just the, the cleanup crew. <laughs> and so spirit is saying, there's going to be a cleanup crew. Your spirit team, your spirit guides, whatever, your soul tribe, that's truly your soul tribe, whether you realize it or not. There are people that have your back. And there's going to be new opportunities and prosperity that's going to be on the other side of this illusion that is being dropped right now. 
the spirit is saying is that you're going to be taking some amazing adventures coming up the next couple months, meaning spiritual type of adventures or meeting new people, having new opportunities. Spirit wants you to be very open-minded with the new energies that are coming in. This is why it's important to heal these narcissist wounds or the wounds of all the competition. And you probably don't realize you were in competition with people because there's no, there is no competing with you because you're one of a kind. Um, but the conflict and all the, the heavier weight and the heavier energy that you've been feeling will be released off you, will be removed. And it's important for you to heal from the conflict that's been going on in your life or the, the oppression that you've been feeling in your life. or to, Even if you're feeling like you're still oppressed and you're, there's still conflict in your life, how can you, in the present moment, heal from what's going on in your life so when the news op these new opportunities are coming to your life you're not seeing it and I've said this before that you are not viewing this from an unhealed lens that you are not then rejecting what's meant for you that's coming into your life when we see things from an unhealed lens I mean this is common sense but um, sometimes we need a reminder that when we see things from unhealed lens and we have past traumas that and when something what's meant for us comes in, we often reject it, thinking that it's the sum of the same old. Now, sometimes it is some of the same old spirits trying to give you a little test <laughs> to see if you've healed and you've grown and you can foresee this coming, right? And so, you know, you got to kind of, you know, <laughs> figure it out. You know, there's no, there's no magic sauce for you, right? I mean, you have your own magic sauce, but we all have to figure out our own way. We can take guidance and suggestions, but this is just like an aha moment for you to kind of recognize what are some things, some trauma that I include or some pain or maybe some behaviors and actions or some unsavoring things that I may have picked up um, during why I've been oppressed. Because I know when all this shit was happening to me these last couple years, I picked up some kind of some bad habits and some, some behaviors that I had to take a look at. Like, you know what? That no longer serves me. I had, it was like survival. I adapted to my environment and I started to have certain behaviors that was like a protection for me. And then I got to a certain point where I'm like, you know what? Sometimes I need to heal from what, not sometimes, all the time. We need to heal from those things so when what's meant for us comes in, that we're not just jaded and we're like, we, we have our sword and our shield ready to fight every single person or every single opportunity that comes in, that we're suspect. And I say it to a lot of people all the time, like, yeah, I am kind of suspect. I mean, that's my old trauma because of everything that's happened to me. And so I had to realize that not everybody's out to get me. <laughs> not everybody's going to portray me. And because I've healed those wounds I, and I have insight, I can foresee that coming. So Spirit is saying is that this is kind of, there's going to be a new freedom on the other side of this conflict. Instead of feeling conflict and oppressed, you're going to have this freedom. You're going to have adventure. It's kind of like Spirit's initiating you into this new timeline. And so that's why it's like you can't take those past pains, those past hurts, and the past things, the past oppressions, and the uncertainty that you've had, not only about the people around you, but the uncertainty you have about yourself. The uncertainty you have about yourself and your gifts. We all have them. The more healing you do, the more work you do, the more these gifts will be presented to yourself, but presented to you. So Spirit is saying is that there's these amazing, there's like a new venture. That's what I love about this card. There's new ventures, there's new opportunities, and it's right beside the adventure and freedom card. So there's going to be a newfound freedom and expansion that comes the more you heal. And it doesn't, it's not stuff that happens overnight. I mean, it's a constant thing. Sometimes things will pop up, an old experience I had, and then I start to feel a little shame about it. I'm like, no, let's unpack this real quick. Because we can just move through it sometimes. Sometimes we're our own worst enemy. We dwell and dwell and dwell on stuff that we're ashamed about. And Spirit's like, no, you're dwelling on the wrong thing. We want you to dwell on how far you've come. How much healing you've done and to trust yourself, right? So that is the message. Happy new moon. I hope everybody is healthy and happy and full of joy. May you love and be loved. Heal. Don't harm. Have a great day.